great artist delivers like a, a, a dose of vitality and it kind of widens the range of interpretations, things that are a little too locked down. The question is why did I focus on the Winchester Mystery House? I chose it because as a kid I was interested in the idea of ghosts and haunted houses and the idea of all this, just the novelty of stairways going nowhere. And as I grew up I started to realize this is a manifestation of neurosis that's almost incredibly poetic and profound. The idea of Sarah Winchester building the structure to accommodate spirits, how many kind of um, mythic strands come together in this site, like uh, the idea of the gunfighter, how important that is to American culture, the idea of homeland security, fending off these unseen threats at all times. The Americans aren't really more violent than other cultures necessarily, but we mythologize violence more heavily. And so Winchester had to take some of this, the seduction of this mythology and and acknowledge it, but one of the things that happens when we go to war is we shut down the range of interpretation and what symbols can mean, who we are as a people. I think the most generous thing you can do as an artist during that kind of thing is to try to keep things a little bit looser than they would be otherwise. I think the task of the artist is to demonstrate the value of exploring the subjective, and especially in a culture where everything has a use value. That and a market value. Art comes along and says, well, your emotional experience matters. It has a structure. I mean, if I had to lock it down, it would be like, I want to create a waking dream that you're then asked to interpret.